Hey, what's up you guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today we'll be taking a look at the new DC Multiverse, Mr. Freeze. I'm really excited to open this figure up because I love Mr. Freeze and I love these Batman the Animated Series colors. Here's the barcode if you guys want it. We have Mr. Freeze on the side. And then on the back we have some beautiful artwork. I love this artwork. DC Infinite QR code right there. It would focus and then on the side we get the name and the car, uh, qr code again nothing much more at the top so let's get to it and crack them open and before we take a look at the figure let's take a closer look at his accessories comes with your basic dc multiverse stand then a trading card again really nice artwork on the front and on the back you get a bio and then he comes with his freeze gun, which is, you know, I'm glad that he comes with this, you know, because we can't get guns anymore in our McFarlane line. But unfortunately, the the freeze effect is actually a little bit harder to remove, and it's a little warped out the package. So you probably want to heat this up before removing it like the last one, because the last one, it came out pretty easily. So I think they put more glue in this one. And here's Mr. Freeze out of the package, and man, this is such a big improvement over the first one. I mean, the first one was great as it is, but seeing this, you know, this one in the Batman the Animated Series color scheme, it's a repaint of the first one. They use the same exact parts, but this one just looks so much better. Like, I really like the colors on this one over the, the first version. Like I said, the first version was never bad. It was actually really good. It almost made my top 10. But this is so much better. I just love how more visually pleasing this figure looks with these colors. He's going to stand out more, you know, with the blues and the purples, the silvers. I really love how these colors look on this figure. I'm glad that they made this version. Unlike that, you know, Booster Gold that came out in this wave, this, you know, this actually does good as a repaint. I really do like it. And the dome is, of course, removable as well. So you can, you know, actually articulate the head if you wanted to. So that's also really nice. Again, just very happy to have this figure in this color scheme. Because I love Batman the Animated Series. Uh, it's actually my favorite interpretation of Mr. Freeze. So having him in these colors is just great. I love it. We're going to skip the articulation since it is just a repaint. But measuring him out, he comes to around seven and a half inches tall. And here's this new Mr. Freeze next to the first one that came out last year. And look at this. This is such an upgrade. I mean, the first one was never bad. But if you're a fan of the, you know, Batman the Animated Series like I am, you're going to like this one so much better because it just, it looks, again, it's just more visually uh, pleasing. I freaking love these colors. And then here's this new Mr. Freeze next to two other Mr. Freezes that we have from the McFarlane line. We have the Page Punchers fighting the Frozen Mr. Freeze, and then the Batman and Robin Build-A-Figure Mr. Freeze. And here's this Mr. Freeze next to some Batman. We have the Nightfall Batman and the JLA Batman. And here's Mr. Freeze up on the rotating base. And I have to say, this figure's really cool. I absolutely love these colors on this Mr. Freeze. It's Again, it's just such... It's more pleasing to the eye than the first version, and like I said, the first version was never bad, but just throw some color on him, ooh, it's a big difference, I love it, I really do like these colors, again, I'm a big fan of Batman the Animated Series, it's my favorite interpretation of this character, and so again, seeing him in these colors look great, and these, this, you know, version, or this version of the figure at least, Feels like a Platinum Edition, like it should have been a Platinum Edition, but I'm so glad it's not. I'm glad it's a single carded figure. That way, you know, it's I was able to actually get it, unlike these Platinum Chases. So I'm glad that this figure was released as, you know, how it was, because it does just, it does kind of feel like a Platinum version. Like, if this was a Platinum version of, you know, the first version, it, it just looks like that, but I'm glad it's not, so... It's just great to see that this figure is a general release. And again, these colors just do so much more for the figure. It's so much more pleasing, and I really do like it. Again, there's not much more I can say about this figure since it is just a repaint. So I'm just going to leave it off, you know, that I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I did like this figure. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.
See you.